mother played piano and organ in church. My sisters, the three of us, had a trio, and we sang as a trio from the time I was two years old. As we grew up, we kept singing, and there were regular rehearsals with the Coolidge girls. We did talent shows in Nashville when we were kids. And that's where harmonies, I think, came in, where I learned harmony. was right out of Florida State and had wanted to teach school when I went to Memphis where my parents lived at the time. I couldn't get a job teaching because there's a university there and all the teaching positions were filled by Memphis State University students. So I went to my next love, which was music. That gave me the opportunity to start checking out the recording studios and the music scene in Memphis. I went with a producer from Memphis up to Nashville. And we drove up and met with some producers up there and they all turned me down and they said, you're not star quality, so you better go back to Memphis and get a job teaching. I actually got back to Memphis and Pepper Tanner, the jingle factory, had started a record label, which was Pepper Records. And I was the first artist to record for Pepper Records. Close your eyes and dream. California some months later, I had a regional hit, only in Los Angeles, a number one single. I got there and doors opened. I was doing TV shows uh, with people that I didn't know. They were huge, but I didn't know that because I, I hadn't lived there. Delaney and Bonnie wanted me to come out and sing on their first album, and that was really great. I had met them in Memphis. They were fulfilling their last commitment to Stax Records. So I met them there, met Leon Russell and Delaney and Bonnie and all of their band. And before we left Memphis, they had asked me to come to California. Leon also asked me to come to California, the captain of space and time. I would sign with them as an artist. A&M seemed to be in the game for longevity. When I signed with them, they said, we're in for the distance. That really gave me a lot of security as an artist.
Chris was country. He was an outlaw. Hear the whisper of the raindrops blowing song against the window. Make believe you love me one more time. For the good times. When I first met Chris, we had tours booked across Canada back to back. I was like one night behind him. And some of my dates got canceled, so I would jump ahead and go to his concerts. And I really sat in the audience and saw what Chris did and saw how, how he moved. I would say how Chris would move people's hearts. Chris and I were married and it was kind of hard on Chris because we would hit these huge venues and Chris would be playing and people would be going, Rita, Rita. He'd say, she'll be out here when I'm done. I think the music that we made was such a, a sweet compromise because we had our band on the albums that we did together and we really recorded the music that we wanted to record. Laying soft against my skin Like the shadows on the wall I never got in the business because I thought I was a great singer or because I wanted to be a star. I did it because I love music. <laughs>